Hi, I'm Andrea from cookingforlife.club. This week's answer for the Q&A Tuesday, why do recipes fail when we follow directions exactly, can mostly be found in the blog post. This video is just to demonstrate the different consistencies of buttermilk, uh, one of the things that I mentioned in the blog post. So let's have a look. Uh, these are some of the common ones that you can find in British supermarkets. With the first one, you can see that the consistency is a lot like milk. It's quite runny. In fact, it comes in a large carton. That kind of gives it away a little bit, I guess. Um, and in the 125 ml container, it comes up to about 126. So very much like milk or water. The second one from Sainsbury's, uh, this one is somewhat thicker. And so it, although it flows initially, you can see that it starts to get quite thick and and I did give it a stir beforehand, uh, but nevertheless, you can see how it's a little bit more like yogurt. And, and for this one, it actually came up closer to, I think in the end, it was 136. So it's already 10 grams more than the previous brand. Let's look at the final brand that is selected today. And this one, you'll find it, it starts to flow again, but it's also quite yogurty and thick. And we run into another problem, which is it was really, really easy to measure the first one. And this one, to get it kind of accurate uh, into the cup, you sort of have to shimmy it a little bit. But we've ended up with 142 grams. So that's 16 grams more than the first brand. This isn't a huge difference in itself, but you can see how all these little differences can add up to the recipe being a success or not. So if you enjoyed that, do send in your questions to questions at cookingforlife.com. Once again, I'm Andrea James. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.